Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we will begin our physics break one for secondary three and um, we have our first chapter which looks about wave motions. First, if somebody like threw a pebble into a water pond, we can notice that at the point where the pebble touches the water, a small circle is formed, then it enlarges, and another small circle is formed from the same center and it enlarges and so on, and several circles of water are formed. They are called concentric circles, concentric circles, because they have the same center. This phenomenon is called a wave motion. So, from this we can define the wave as a disturbance that carries along energy. And we have just mentioned these concentric circles which are formed are a kind of disturbance which happens to the water occurred inside the water and it carried energy like for example kinetic energy to let the water move as we have said that the circle enlarges and another one is formed and it enlarges and so on. So this is the definition of the wave motion. It's a disturbance that carries along energy. This is the first point. We have some examples for some waves, like um, we just mentioned, water waves, like TV waves, radio waves, and uh, mobile phone waves. The water wave is called a mechanical wave. While the TV waves, radio waves, and mobile phone waves are called electromagnetic waves, EM for short. We have also sound waves, which are considered to be mechanical waves. The difference between both is here mechanical wave, we can see the waves. In the sound wave, we can detect the waves. In the electromagnetic waves, um, we cannot detect them by simple methods like hearing or like seeing or vision as the water and the sound. These waves can travel through space. They don't need a medium to travel through. While here, sound waves need the medium like air and other mechanical waves need a medium like water to spread through. So this is the difference between mechanical waves and electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic waves are called so because like in the TV stations for example, they build their satellites, they put them in space and these satellites uh, produce electromagnetic waves which can travel through space and then they are received by the receivers and the television and the radio wave like and they are received by antennas as in cars or in radios and then the signals are uh, changed into electrical signals they are changed into video and audio in the television so you can see the image and hear the sound video is for the sound video is for the image so that you can receive the channel and see the uh, image and the sound and hear the sound correctly and for the radio waves the electric signals after they are uh, after the electromagnetic waves are changed into electrical signals in the radio they are changed into audio so that you can hear the sound and it's the same thing for the mobile phone waves. So, we know that electromagnetic waves doesn't need a medium to travel through while mechanical waves need a medium to travel through. This is the other point. 
So we are going to talk about the uh, mechanical waves in depth. Then we are going to talk about electromagnetic waves. We have some examples for electromagnetic waves and mechanical waves. We have mentioned the electromagnetic wave example. Some examples for mechanical waves like a tuning fork, like a pendulum, and like a yu yu. A yu yu is a bolt attached to a string. These are some examples for mechanical waves. From all of this that I've just mentioned, we can um, detect the requirements that are needed for a mechanical wave, uh, a mechanical wave to be carried out properly. First, the mechanical wave needs a vibrating source. A vibrating source. Like when somebody throws a pebble in the water, as we have mentioned, the pebble is considered as a vibrating source. When it touches the water, it produces some vibrations. These vibrations accordingly make a disturbance in the surface of water. So this is the second requirement. The vibrating source produces vibrations. These vibrations makes a disturbance. This, dis this disturbance is, uh, is transmitted or it moves through a medium, which is water. So in this example, the vibrating source is the pebble, the disturbance is the concentric circles, and the medium is water. So these are the three requirements that a mechanical wave needs to be produced properly. Uh, so this is it for today, and the next time we will uh, talk about some relevant physical quantities to mechanical waves like frequency, complete oscillation, and stuff like that. And until then, I thank you for watching and see you.